All right, this is the acid-base titration lab where we're going to be making a titration curve for a titration of a strong acid with a strong base. Uh, in this beaker I have hydrochloric acid. Uh, inside of that I have a pH meter and then I have a magnetic stirring bar. And you can see on the computer screen that right now the pH is 1.9. Uh, I'm going to add to this just a little bit of an indicator which will help us see what's taking place during the titration. So this is universal indicator and it's red in a strongly acidic solution like the hydrochloric acid that we're starting with. Um, up above this in the burette I have sodium hydroxide and I have uh, 50 milliliters of it and I'm going to slowly add the sodium hydroxide and we'll see how that affects the pH. So I'm going to add it one milliliter at a time so I'll open the valve add one milliliter, so that's after one milliliter has been added. We see that the pH is still 1.9 and the color is still red. So we'll add another milliliter. So two milliliters of the sodium hydroxide have been added. pH has not changed yet. We'll add some more. Okay, we've now added three milliliters of the base sodium hydroxide and our pH remains the same. This is our fourth milliliter. So we've added four milliliters. We just saw a small change in the pH. The pH is now two. So after adding four milliliters of the base, we're at a pH of two. That's five milliliters of base. Six milliliters of base. seven milliliters of base, eight milliliters of base, nine milliliters of base, ten, Eleven milliliters of base have been added. Our pH is now 2.2. Twelve milliliters of base. Thirteen. Fourteen milliliters of base. That's fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, we're seeing a color change occur. So that's eighteen milliliters of base. We see the color has just changed pretty drastically. And then we see the pH is starting to rise a lot more quickly. It's now at 5.3. I'll try to add less than a milliliter this time. I'll add just a very small amount. So now we're at about 18.2. And we see the color has changed again. All right, 18.6. So 18.6 milliliters of the base have been added. We have a different color, and our pH is now 6.4. We're at 18.9. We're now at 19. So 19 milliliters of the base have been added. Our pH is now 7.4. Our solution is kind of a blue-green color. Uh, that's now at 19.4 milliliters of base. Nineteen point eight milliliters of base have been added. 19.8 milliliters of base. Our pH is now 9. 
our solution is starting to turn purple. That's 20 milliliters of base. Twenty one milliliters of base. Twenty two milliliters of base. Twenty three. Four, twenty-five, twenty-six, we'll add a little extra right now, we'll get down to 28. You see that the rapid change occurred right around uh, 19 milliliters. We've now added 28 milliliters. We're at 11.2. So that's 28 milliliters. Here's 30 milliliters. Still at 11.2. Thirty-three milliliters. We're at eleven point three, and we'll stop there at thirty-five milliliters. The pH is at eleven point three. So you have the data you need. You know how much of the base was added. You recorded the pH and the color of the solution.